floor. Um, I was trying to think last night of questions that united you all, and I think the thing that I came up with was that you were all sort of looking for love. I know on my show, almost every episode, I'm looking for love. When I'm at Comic-Con, I'm looking for love. Um, <laughs> Jesse, on The Bachelor, you were looking for love. Megan and Shane, you guys, I guess, were already in love. You guys found love, and so you think you can dance, and Mikey, you just sing love songs. So, <laughs> what, is it, what is it about um, these reality shows that I guess relationships, looking for relationships, or at your current relationship? Well, I think that everybody is just wants to find that somebody for their life, to spend their life with, and that's what we're all doing. And uh, so I really think that there's no place that you can find, that there's no limits to where you can find love. You can find love on the go train. You can find it in the bus. You never know. And so I'm not just... On any, not on any bus rides I've been on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I don't go on your bus rides. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you can really find it anywhere, and I just thought, why not? This is an opportunity where they put you in, like, sort of like a fairy tale. Like, the things that we got to do, we went to, like, the John Lovitz Comedy Club. We, they closed down an amusement park for me, which was, like, my childhood dream since I was, like, five. So it was just, like, it's just, like, this little surreal world that you go into, and it almost makes you, you just feel love around you. And I think that's why it's so easy to get trapped in the moment, to fall in love and under those circumstances. At the same time though, it's hard, you get kicked off the, like when I got kicked off the show, it wasn't so much about being that, that Jake didn't want me, it was like the whole experience and all, meeting all the girls, developing all these friendships, was coming to an end. But I'm still single if there's anyone out there. <laughs> Mark, yeah, I mean, Mark's is right next to you. I, I, I was going to ask a follow up, it's like, let's say you're on The Bachelor, and you see the guy, because you don't know who the guy is, right? And you just hate him. Are you just like, I'm leaving the show because there goes my shot at being on TV, or do you learn to love him? <laughs> Good question. No, I think um, before going on the show, we had kind of an idea that it's between these three men. So can you, do you see yourself with these three men? They ask all the girls before going on the show. And, you know, the three guys, that they had, it was Kipton, Reed, and uh, Jake. So I thought, okay, these are all really great choices that they've chosen, and uh, why not give it a shot? Because all I knew from them was what the TV portrayed when I, I went and YouTube them. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's what I went by, and I, I researched them, uh, like I Googled them, and I really tried to learn a little bit about their lives, and I was like, okay, this is the type of person that I was looking for in my life. Now let's go there and see if it can actually match up our personalities. Sorry, Jen, I cut you off. Did the Amazing Race add to your relationship or take away from it? Um, it definitely added to it. I mean, I've known Megan since elementary school and I always had a crush on her. I just, for some reason, I think, knew that we were supposed to be together and uh, we've been dating for five years and are now engaged. But the show definitely added to our relationship. I mean, I was broke before and uh, now I've got money, so that's why she said yes when I asked her to marry me. Uh, which happened recently, so, um, yeah. Actually, now that I have half a million dollars, that's why he wants to marry me. <laughs> no, but it's true, um, you know, everyone goes on the show for a different reason. Some people go on the show because they're a father and son and they just want to learn to get along together. And sometimes, oddly enough, I don't know why, but couples that fight every single day decide to go on The Amazing Race. And sometimes they say, I just want to see if, you know, this will help our relationship. Well, no, it's not going to help your relationship. And so Shane and I, before the race, we said, we don't, we don't want to be that kind of couple because we're not that kind of couple. And we love each other and we want to do this together. So our approach going into it was, this is going to help our relationship. We know it's not going to break our relationship. And so every single challenge we did and every single time we, you know, we did well in those challenges, it brought us a little bit closer. And um, finishing the entire race and coming in first place was was an amazing moment that made us closer and put us through an experience that um, we'll never have again. I mean, that kind of experience was just really amazing, and it, and I, it made me appreciate him and love him even more. So yes, it is a, a love show for some people, I guess. Uh -oh. oh wait, look, we've got uh, Johnny Bear playing Jesse. Your left, right? I'm sure it's gonna operate. <laughs> 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 She's like, I want him. Uh, all right, while they get settled in, uh, Tarantino and Disney, you wanna just tell us about how you found love on the show? Sure. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, 
Yeah. No, it's Tara Jean and Vincent. How did you guys like sort of uh, develop the romantic connection on the show? Uh, well, actually, for a show like this, usually you're not going there to find love or something. You're just going there like to perform and like dance more. But you know, when you're doing those kind of stuff, you're sharing the same faith, passion, 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 passion. passion. <laughs> and all the other people there, so I've been really lucky while I was going there, and I was like, oh, alright, so I'm just gonna go dance and everything, but uh, after dancing with Tara Jean for a couple of weeks, I've been really lucky to have her, she's a, well, first of all, she's an amazing dancer, is the reason why she won, so, <laughs> and well, we passed more time together and everything, so that's really cool, and, and like, well, for me, I don't have money after this, so I don't know why she's with me, but, <laughs> and I'm not engaged too, but, <laughs> Anyway, yeah. So yeah, well, that was really cool, and it's it's a plus. I got the the car and the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something to add? Uh, just like you see each other at your worst because you're so stressed. Uh, so if you can gain a relationship when you're at your stressful moment in your life, I think that's super important because now, well, we haven't seen each other really stressed since the show because that was the toughest time in our life. But yeah, I think. We made a really awesome relationship, and we're both so passionate about what we do, so, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, uh, the love life certainly improved after the show. <laughs> um, no, but I, I think that's the thing about these reality shows, and I think that's why they've become so popular over the, set, over the decade. Uh, it's not actors, you know, the people on the, sh on the TV you see are real, um, and I find people watch these reality shows because they want to find people that they relate to, that they identify with. Um, and you know, the whole love theme itself is one of those things that just everybody can relate to. You know, it's such a simple thing. Um, whether it be like, you know, a, ro a romantic love or even a love for a dream or something. And I think that's what makes these shows so popular. Um, and as it ties into the whole love theme, so um, and, and I love singing love songs. That's kind of like that was my thing on the show, singing the ballads. My heart so, melts every time you sing, Mikey. Thank you, thank you. Um, Been a mom for that. <laughs> now, now, Johnny, you also found love, I guess, through reality. You're married to an America's Next Top Model. Um, would you say you would have met Michelle um, outside of reality, or did that really help in uh, sort of um, allowing you to date her and then marry her eventually? I don't think, I don't know if I would have met her, so because we met on the show. So we, we did a show called Camp Reality, and she had just finished filming America's Next Top Model. She was 18 years old at the time, and, uh, and she, she was the first America's Next Top Model to come out as bisexual. So I said, mine. <laughs> and uh, it really helps, uh, especially in marriage, because uh, I'm not the, probably the best husband. So bringing girls back is cool. Um, <laughs> it helps. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, uh, thank you, Reality TV, for uh, for a bisexual wife. <laughs> uh, Jesse, I don't know if you're looking for love with me with your arm around my chair, but uh, <laughs> um, you obviously had a lot of love angles on Big Brother, Lydia, Natalie. So just just tell us what that was like. It's Kevin from Big Brother right there. <laughs> <laughs> Love is a very strong word. <laughs> I said platonic. Right. Actually. But um, no, uh, the exposure and the amount of face time you get with everybody inside a house like that, you know, uh, the best way I try putting it for people is imagine hanging out with your best friend, you know, maybe four hours a day, you know, and now amplify that in times of like. 24-7 because every time you go to the bathroom, every time you go to the kitchen, every time you go outside, every time you wake up, you see that person, you know, so everything is just, you speed up all your relationships so much faster because of the amount of face time that you have with everybody. So um, <laughs> you start not liking somebody, you really start not liking somebody and hostility comes into play. So uh, when it comes down to actually liking somebody, Within a week, it's like you've been dating them for a month, or within two weeks, it just feels like even longer, just longer and longer. <laughs> so, it's just, you know, it's nice to cuddle up next to somebody in that lonely house. <laughs>